Hello and welcome to the NNL Pro Tournament. The path to pro begins here. I'm Alex Cunningham alongside William Marchese for this first round matchup between Judas Lickardello and Matthew Hall. William, it's been an exciting tournament so far. What are you looking forward to out of these two athletes? Honestly, I am expecting some explosive action and some impressive grips as these two will be taking on their huge grip gauntlet. I'm excited for this one. All right, let's tell you how it works in case this is your first time with us. Athletes have submitted a two-minute grip gauntlet that they filmed at their home facilities, and it will be up to you, the viewer, to tell us who you thought had the better grip gauntlet based on creativity, variety of obstacles, difficulty, and wow factor. And remember, everyone, this is not a popularity contest. You guys are serving as both the judge and the jury to determine who you thought had the better grip gauntlet. This vote is very important as it will be determining who will move on to the next round. Well, that being said, let's meet our two athletes, Judas and Matthew. Matthew Hall burst onto the scene in Season 5 by finishing second in the power rankings and making it all the way to Stage 3 at the World Championship. He's proven that was no fluke so far in Season 6, as up until the Southeast Regional, he was in first in the power rankings. In his eight regular season competitions so far, he's won two and finished on the podium in seven of the eight. Juice Slickerdello is one of Ninja's elite globetrotters, having led in total points for the adult men in both seasons four and five. And that's not just a participation trophy. For instance, last season he picked up wins at Westchester Ninja Warriors, Brooklyn Zoo, and High Exposure. He hasn't let his foot off the gas this season, as he currently finds himself 7th in the Northeast standings. Will, you've been doing the Ninja Lab series for a while. You've seen these two names a lot because we have two globe trotters in this competition. Absolutely. There are certain competitors out there who will travel around the country in order to get as much ninja experience as they can and rack up those points for the season. Judas and Matthew are two of those people, and they have proven through their results that they have the skills to take on seemingly anyone who comes into their path. But when they come face to face with each other, how will they fare? Well, let's not waste any time to find out. Matthew Hall is the lower seed, so he'll go first. Hi, I'm Matthew Hall, and this is a pump line. Matthew yeah. Hall from Ninja Quest, and yes, he's starting off with a vertical <laughs> limit. You love to see it. Uh, starting out with a bang in terms of difficulty. Oh, and a pull up to the I beam. There we go. Now to the devil steps, and he's nice he's up. jumping nice up. Ups. And he Ooh. skipped some steps there as well. Indeed. Now he's going for a big crazy cliffhanger transfer. Matthew Hall is so good at these cliffhangers and vertical limits. And Ninja Quest has a good variety of obstacles for him to use. Absolutely. And I like already, I mean, obviously he's been doing some intense grips, but he has been doing a little bit of flashes as well, and it looks like another one's coming up in the Salmon Liar. Let's see how he does here. Perfect right into it, he it. A little bit of chalk padding. Let's see where he has in store for us. Remember, he can't use that trampoline. He's got to go right to wherever he's going next, and it's the wood planks. Oh, man. And on to the floating monkey bars now. Oh, no, he's going. Let's just see where he's going. <laughs> it's the hole punch. So those bars do spin a little bit. I... But he's moving okay. to a regular bar. Looks like there's a circuit board in front of him. A little bit more of a dynamic move here. And he's sticking with the circuit board. Yeah, he has fooled us a couple times during this run. Yeah. But I he... like that he's getting the circuit board. And now, oh, look at that lock off. Ooh, that's a good transition. Kind of a blind transition right there to the rumbling dice. Down inside of 30 seconds now. Pumping his way through. Let's see where he goes now. Going to the pipe slider, I guess. Shades oh. of 2018 worlds. Please, please use the pipe slider. Good. 10 there seconds go. left. I assume the dismount upcoming. And this is Perfect. tricky because that bar will spin back on you. Come on, Matthew. Uh, little, little. There yes. Oh, oh what goodness. a performance from Matthew Hall. And as we come back into the commentator's booth, 
Ooh, that was a lot of stage three obstacles all in a row. That was a grip gauntlet. And honestly, like, you know, people who know me, they know that the pipe slider is my favorite obstacle of all time. So there you go. Matthew Hall wins. All right. Next episode. <laughs> I mean, he showed so many attributes, and I, and I want to emphasize this. He had the really tough grips, especially at the start with the vertical limit. So he had oh, finger yeah. grips, he had hand grips, he had static moves, dynamic moves, he had laches, he had power. This is exactly what I wanted to see out of these athletes, and that is exactly why we have variety. That was the story of this run, was variety. Yes, Matthew really showed that when it comes to the upper body obstacles, he can handle all different types of challenges. And I think he did fake us out a few times, but I think it's kind of, it really felt like he had planned out the full two minutes and he just needed a way to get from point A to point B, so to speak, on his course. Well, that was a very good run by Matthew Hall, and I cannot wait to see what Judas Licardello has in store for us. All right. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Judas Lucardella. This is going to be my two-minute gauntlet challenge. I got my dad behind the film, so hopefully everything turns out right. Uh, it's all up in the air today. I haven't been training, so I'd say I got a good enough chance of making this two-minute drill as I do making this shot behind my back. Oh, and that was actually kind of close. I think I got a better shot at that. Anyway, my gym I haven't used. You can see I got all my motorcycles out there. I can see 22. Come on. I can see it. Well, Judas certainly all has right, the well, best introduction so far. Chalk, all right, there's well, let's see if I can get a two minute going. What time are we at right now? I'm getting shocked. All right, there we go. 30 seconds. Here we go. Smart move. And away we go. <laughs> Starting well, with the cliffhanger. Man, if this was based on uh, comedic performances, uh, Judas would definitely be in the lead, but. Starting with the cliffhanger, very strong start there. And that's a tough cliffhanger, too. That's a lot tougher than the one Matthew Hall hit. Yeah, honestly, those ledges, they don't look very big, and there's a lot of big up and down transfers. So He's Slacking off, gaining a little bit of weight. I'm so uh, fat. What is that? We even had to take our shoes off. Uh, this I one, think that's guys. another cliffhanger ledge. Yeah, yeah that's what it looks and like. And he is also going to do a circuit board. Interesting. Uh, circuit board is popular think, this week. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've seen both athletes do the same obstacle, or at least uh, something as specific as a circuit board. Yeah. Also, what I like is that this is a home gym, and so he took the time to build this. So props to him. Let's see how he makes his way through. Let's see. What is next? What is next? I think a pegboard. All right, what's the time at? Yeah. Er, Not just wait, pegs. Okay. Those, are, those are knobs. That's those are baseballs. Yeah, yeah he's traveling along the uh, baseball we grass. Make it. I got yeah. plenty of grip. I've been training these biceps for It is uh, baseball week. season now. Just no! like well, hopefully he doesn't oh. strike out on this course. <laughs> Will he be more Yankees or my beloved Pittsburgh Pirates? Oh, oh that's low. You're on 156. <laughs> on to the floating around. monkey bars, starting to grimace. Come on, Judas. Oh man, he's 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 getting his way through this. I really like what you are seeing here. 208. Down to about 20 seconds. Finishing up with the rings. rings. Uh, he's yelling through this course. Uh, salmon oh, low. He slipped off this salmon, salmon ladder down, bar. Two minute gauntlet. Ah, oh, great run wow. by Judas Licardello. Unfortunately, we're going to give him the cane a little, a little early, but that, I mean, I wasn't sure when I saw Matthew Halls that it could be beat, but Judas did exactly what he needed to do, I think. Yeah, it was it was really impressive what we saw there, especially because it was a home course. He, we, we've we seen home courses before, and one of the biggest challenges with doing a, a home course for this event is that, you know, you got to build everything ahead of time, and you don't necessarily have the same resources that a ninja gym might have. But Judas has a really impressive array of obstacles, it looks like. That and because he did it in his home gym, he had the opportunity to make things a little bit more harder than you might see in an ninja gym. Like that cliffhanger was insanely difficult. Yes, it was at the beginning, but I defy some of our viewers to try that big of a cliffhanger reach and then especially go on to perform the gauntlet that he did. Yeah, honestly, like win or lose, I I'm very impressed with the, with the performance that Judas put on today. I really really hope that whoever wins between these two that we get to see more of this high level of performances that 
we saw out of the two of them. It, it certainly raised the bar for our competitors heading into round two. But before we let you guys vote on these two athletes, we have two athletes of our own that'd like to give their thoughts. Will, let's take it away to Lucio and Henry. All right. Hello, gentlemen. Thank you for joining us in what was a very exciting match between two very exciting competitors. So we're going to start things off with Mr. Batista. Let's start with Matthew's run. Um, starting with the vertical limit and ending with the pipe slider. Overall, what were your thoughts on how his performance held up? Well, he certainly gave us a difficulty right out of the bat, and he ended on the difficulty. Also, that's a huge bonus for the wow factor. Coming into a pipe slider that's so technical, um, he had multiple points throughout where he was giving us tons of variety in grip, lots of ledges, doing some dynamic movement, gave us a salmon ladder bar throw. I mean, just all around phenomenal run. Uh, Mr. Ferrarin, uh, looking at Matthew's run, um, do you feel like that he maybe, you know, showed a little bit too much in the beginning? Or was it a very consistent uh, level of difficulty and wow factor throughout his run? Yeah, uh, well, it's a great question. I mean, obviously, starting with the vertical limit, giant moves, super impressive. But as Lucio alluded to, the, the, you only get one dismount when you're doing a grip calling. You only get to hit the ground once. And like a huge bonus for creativity wow factor for going with the pipe slider because that is a super technical move super impressed with his run overall um i mean to me it had it had everything you wanted you had you had dynamic dynamic movement he showed his grip strength so really impressed with his run all right now let's uh, let's move on to mr licardelio uh, we're gonna stick with henry for this one how would you judge his home course overall well, first off, for for a home course, that that is amazing. So he's obviously shout out to his building skills. Uh, really liked his home course. A lot of diversity and obstacles, and also, man, Judas just has so much charisma. He always makes me laugh with everything he says. He's he's from New Jersey, but he's got like a southern accent. It's just awesome. But um, that dude's hilarious. As for his actual skills, he did look a little rusty. He, he looked a little out of shape. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, again, I love Judas. Uh, I think he's a super talented athlete, but he did look a little tired towards the end, and it showed. All right, moving back uh, to Lucio. If he were to move on to the next round, what else can he do in his home gym, in in your opinion? Judas, I've seen you do it before. I want to see a one-arm salmon ladder to start it out. Give us that wow factor. I know you've done it before. Start the video out with that. Go to the cliffhanger after. Come on, let's do it. Outside of that, the one thing, because again, we've seen this in the past with home gyms, needing to be careful because you don't have the opportunity for the big dynamic throw movements. So a lot of static grip, which was impressive from Judas. Again, like Henry touched on, a little rusty, but all in all, still a pretty good run. All right. So it sounds like both competitors definitely have some options if they move on to the next round. But before we end things, I have one very important question for the both of you gentlemen. Who do you think won? We're going to start with Lucio. All right. Well, unfortunately, I'm having to give this one to Matthew. Judas looking a little bit rusty, although he's normally like going to every comp under the sun. This one had to go to Matthew. He really gave us the entire package, the dynamic, the static, overall finishing his entire grip gauntlet. So I'm giving it to Matthew on this one. All right. And now, Henry, same question to you. Who won this competition? This is an easy choice. If it was a comedy uh, test, you got to go with Judas. Judas' personality is amazing. Hilarious dude. But this is a grip gauntlet. And uh, Matthew, from the very start with the vertical limit and the awesome finish with the pipe slider dismount, just an amazing grip gauntlet from start to finish. Super impressed. Matthew gets that. Two thumbs up from me. So our two experts have decided that they prefer Matthew's run, but ultimately it doesn't matter because if you, the viewer, decide that you like Judas's run more, then you should let that know because all you have to do, click the link in the description down below, go vote on who you thought had the better gauntlet between Judas and Matthew, and whoever acquires the most votes, they get to move on to the next round. 
And make sure you keep it tuned right here to our NNL YouTube channel. We've got lots more pro tournament, including the semifinals and finals for both the men and women. And we will see you next time on the NNL Pro Tournament. There's no there.